I believe it is fair to say that this is the biggest battery breakthrough that we've seen in over a decade. I've said that a couple of other times, but this without a doubt surpasses those previous breakthroughs. There is a new electric battery company making a battery that they say will give a vehicle 621 miles of range, but that's not the most interesting part. What the most interesting part about this is that they claim that not only will it give you 621 miles of range, but you can recharge it in six minutes. Seriously, six minutes. Here's what they say is the technology they're using to make this all work. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. And on the channel here, I love making videos, especially about new battery technology. There's some amazing new battery technology that's been coming out and even just commercialized this year. We'll be looking at LMFP batteries by the end of this year that'll be mass manufactured. We're looking at the Chirin battery. We're looking at lots of things that are actually being commercialized, which are actually really game-changing battery technology. This kind of product here, this is more on the fringes, but believe it or not, products like this will be commercialized. There's no question about it. It's just a matter of time. And it's a question of which projects or which companies will be able to get their products to market at a price that people can afford. Chinese startup called Greater Bay Technology has claimed that its new electric vehicle battery can work in any weather. Now, I should point out, it's not exactly a startup. They do manufacture products now. Called the Phoenix Cell, the battery uses superconducting materials and thermal management to bring freezing temperatures to normal room temperature in just five minutes, says Bloomberg. Extreme temperatures have been a big problem for batteries in electric cars. Since they were introduced, this has been an issue that manufacturers have had to deal with, whether that's too much heat or too much cold. You need to be somewhere in between that. I mean, take your, take your smartphone, for example, up on the top of a mountain, see how long the battery works for. They don't work so well when it's really cold. They don't have very good thermal management. That is key. As the temperature dips below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero degrees Celsius, EV batteries lose some of their charging efficiency, making it difficult for owners to rely on charge offered by their cars if they're in those kinds of extreme environments. And realistically, you're not gonna lose all of your capacity. It depends on what battery you've got, by the way, what thermal management system you've got. So if you're in a cold area, you wanna make sure you've got the right battery technology in your car, the right battery thermal management, to make sure you get the maximum possible range. So batteries don't just die like a mobile phone. You know, a lot of mobile phones, they just turn off and start working when it gets to about minus 10 degrees Celsius. Batteries in EVs don't usually do that, but some of them are definitely better than others in those temperatures. Car makers have turned to installing heat pumps to keep battery temperatures in a high efficiency range, but that too is an inefficient way to manage the battery. Well, it's to some degrees, yeah, that's true. Founded in 2020, Greater Bay Technology is looking to radically change how EV batteries operate. And with its Phoenix cell, it claims to have tackled and fixed or solved a major headache for electric vehicle manufacturers. So it's, I mean, if this is true what they're claiming, it is unquestionably an incredible discover, an incredible development here. So who are the company? Who is this basically unknown battery company? Greater Bay Technology was founded by Huang Jiangdong, along with industry veteran Pei Feng in 2020. Huang and Pei were colleagues at GAC, the third most popular electric vehicle brand in China after BYD and Tesla. Now, GAC are spanking the pants of companies like Neon Xpeng. They're selling more than 40,000 electric cars per month, and these are not cheap cars, by the way. They're cars that are more in a Tesla price range. They make very, very good cars. They make very good batteries as well. So these are guys that worked for GAC. They know what they're doing. They're not people just making stuff up. Huang studied automotive engineering in Italy in the 1980s, and he worked as a postdoctoral researcher at Fiat's research center for five years before returning to China in 1991. From 2006, Huang led the R&D center at GAC, where he oversaw the development of the GS4 SUV, one of the company's most popular cars. He retired in 2016, but uh, he couldn't stay away for long. He returned in 2020 to create battery technology that can make EVs 
as easy to own and operate as a gasoline powered car. In fact, a lot easier because you can't charge your gasoline powered car at your home overnight. It's impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but I mean, you could, I guess, put fuel tanks at your house, but that would be a major hassle. Their first generation battery can recharge in about 15 minutes and it can deliver a range of 310 miles or 500 kilometers. But recharging in 15 minutes would still make it industry leading. This technology is already being implemented in GAC's Aeon, an electric SUV, the Bloomberg report has said. Now that EV is said to have 480 kilowatt charging speed. That's actually the fastest in the industry, period. And I made a video about that around about three or four months ago. The next generation of Phoenix Cell can deliver a range of 621 miles. So this is their updated version, right? Version two, 621 miles, 1000 kilometers on a single charge. They don't say what size the battery pack is though, or what size the car is that they put the batteries in. According to Huang, the use of superconducting materials and thermal management technology in the cell ensures that the battery can be heated back from temperatures as low as minus four Fahrenheit. That's minus 20 degrees Celsius, very, very cold, to 77 Fahrenheit, which is 25 degrees Celsius in five minutes. And that's part of the key to how they can charge these batteries so incredibly, incredibly quickly. So now that the battery is within its normal operating temperature range, it can rapidly be charged and reach full capacity in six minutes. Now, this is insane. I don't know how this is actually physically possible because normally battery charging speed is very slow between 80% and 100%. So most people don't bother. You just charge your car to 80%. If you're going on a road trip, for example, unless you're charging at home, and then you might charge your 100% if you've got a lithium ion phosphate battery, that's when you might do it. But if you have a normal battery, you generally wouldn't charge that extra percentage because it's normally quite slow between 80% to 100%. In this case, it's not. It doesn't appear, these batteries don't appear to have the normal charging curve that you, the normal battery would have. Effectively, the cell can be used in any weather conditions and is equivalent to filling the tank of a gasoline powered car, which matches the company's vision when they set out. The Phoenix battery not only addresses the long charging time for EVs, but other pain points. It doesn't matter if it's a hot day or a cold day, the Phoenix battery's range won't be affected regardless. Huang is confident that his technology will increase the mass adoption of EVs, and he's 100% right. If they can mass produce this at an affordable price, and it actually does what they say it does, it's beyond game changing. It completely changes everything, to be fair. The Phoenix Cell could be seen in action as early as next year, on JAC's Aeon EVs, as well as in other electric cars. I mean, realistically, if you're another automaker and this is in your com competitors' cars, you'd be going, uh, I need to change, I need those batteries. In two years, Greater Bay Technology has become a unicorn company, valued at over 1 billion US dollars. And it finds itself mentioned along with battery companies like CATL, BYD, and Goshon High Tech. Frankly, this is a battery company that no one in the West has heard about, but they should have because they're doing incredible, incredible things. They're absolutely legit too. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And as always, my friends, have a great day. Bye-bye.